Now, Mohammed Abu Radin has shown nothing but conflict throughout his short life. Born in rural Aleppo in 2011, when peaceful protests against President Bashar al-Assad's government began, his childhood is anything but typical. The protests quickly turned into a multi-sided conflict that has sucked in world powers, killed hundreds of thousands of people, and displaced millions more, and with it upended Abu Radin's life. Mohammed Abu Radan is just 10 years old, but he carries more responsibility on his shoulders than many adults. He has known nothing but Syria's violence and conflict since he was born in Aleppo in 2011. And now he is the sole provider for his six-person family after heart disease rendered his father unfit to work. Abu Radan braves the cold every day, hoping to hitch a ride to the cleaning product factory where he works. Every day I wake up at 6 a.m. to go. Sometimes a car stops to pick us up and sometimes it does not. We go every day on foot. We work all day from the morning until sunset. We then come home, eat and put our heads to sleep. The year he was born, peaceful protests against President Bashar al-Assad's government began. Those demonstrations quickly escalated into the multi-sided conflict that sucked in world powers. Hundreds of thousands of people were killed and millions like Abu Radan and his family were displaced. Since then, education has become a distant memory. We had a house and I used to go to school every day and I was studying. Then we were displaced here and they destroyed our school and our homes. Abu Radan works up to 10 hours a day for just $13 a month. The work is tiring. He spends his days packing goods into large sacks, some twice his size. By the time Abu Radan gets back to the tent he shares with his parents and three sisters, he's so exhausted that he can do nothing but eat and sleep. The tent does little to shield the family from Syria's harsh winters. Abu Radan has become an expert at making cups of tea to stay warm, working the gas cylinder with the confidence of an adult. UNICEF said earlier this month that 90% of children in Syria are in need of humanitarian assistance. That's a 20% increase over the past year alone. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.